that the lights up? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. That's the sun. I can't shut that off. Well, can you close the blinds? Late night last night? Yeah. I went out for drinks with one of the girls from work. I thought the people you worked with were older, stuffy types. She's new. Her name is Jessie. She started like a week ago. We bonded over the fact that we're the only people there under 50. She sounds like a whore to me, babe. I'm kidding. I gotta go, uh, I'm gonna go shower. It's a long flight. Do you care for some company? Can you stay in the shower longer than three minutes without vomiting? Uh, no. No. I'm just gonna stay here. Yeah. Want me to get you a bucket to throw up in? Like right to you? I'll put it right here. No, but you can get me some aspirin, please. Yeah, um, let me shower first and then I'll do that. Thanks. Ryan! Nice to see you. Hey, you too. Bruce Frost. This is my associate, Tanya Welch. She's basically the money. Well, it's extremely nice to meet you, Tanya. <sighs> Call me Ms. Welch. We've just met. Uh, have a seat, Ryan. <clears throat> okay. So, let's talk movie making here. Take your feet off the desk, Bruce. Look professional. Do you believe her, Ryan? It's always cracking the whip on me. Are you two, like, married or something? Uh, no. No, she just likes to keep me in line, don't you, Tanya? Somebody has to, otherwise we wouldn't make any money. We don't always agree on the same scripts. Loosen up, Tanya. You're giving off a bad vibe. So, right, unrequited. I loved it. It was funny, it was romantic, it Sad, it was dramatic, I laughed, I cried, it was brilliant. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate that. Having said that, we need to talk about rewrites. Um, rewrites? I, mean, I thought you just said it was brilliant. <laughs> it is, but brilliant doesn't always mean perfect. Take, for example, the boyfriend, Jack. He's unlikable. He, well, he's supposed to be. Yes, but we've seen that in so many movies. It's just become so predictable. The rival for the girl's affections is such a jerk and obviously not compatible that we want to see her leave him and end up with the main protagonist. Yeah, so? So, what we're thinking is, let's make Jack more likable. Hmm? Let's make him maybe even more likable than Ralph, the main character. Let's make it harder for Kelly to decide who to be with. Let's have the audience debate who it would be better for her to choose. Ralph, the hopeless romantic, who's loved her all of his life but has really not much else to offer. Or Jack, the rich humanitarian, who could give her everything she's ever wanted. Yeah, but Jack doesn't love her. Yes, well, we want to change that too. Let's make him willing to do whatever it takes to make her happy. Make Jack more of a realistic rival for Ralph. <laughs> well, why don't you just have her end up with Jack then? <sighs> You've got to be kidding me. I mean, you're changing my whole idea. Well, you haven't signed the contract yet. You don't have to make this movie with us. You're perfectly welcome to shop it around to some other company. I have shopped it around. I've been shopping around for three years. <laughs> yes, I've noticed a few outdated references that will need to be fixed as well. This is unbelievable. Listen, Ryan, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to write down a figure on this piece of paper, okay? And that's our offer to buy this script, okay? Um, and if you decide that you, you want to, then that's great. We're in business. And if you decide that you really can't, then fine. No hard feelings. I'm sorry, this is just, it's a really personal script for me. Aren't they all? No, I, I know how you feel. I mean, you spend months, even years, creating something that eventually you fall in love with. And you can't imagine it being any different. And then, 
Hollywood comes calling. And we decide to take it in a completely different direction. And you feel like your heart's been ripped out of your chest. But when you see the final product, you realize that it really isn't so bad after all. Yeah, well, um, this isn't Hollywood. Well, you get my name. Few changes don't seem that bad now, after all. Hmm? Well, well, like I said, think about it. Call me tomorrow, let me know what you decide. Goodbye, Ryan. Thanks for coming, Ryan. I look forward to your call. <laughs>